Hey guys, welcome to the Astute Graphics YouTube channel. My name is Jack Royal, otherwise known as Jack R Design on Instagram, and I create really simple pop art inspired illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I've been using a new tool by Astute Graphics called the Reform Tool to transform simple geometric shapes into more complex forms. It's really simple and anyone can do it. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to start off by recreating these objects here. So we've got the cherry on the left, the egg in the middle, and then we've got the leaf on the right hand side. So I've got some duplicate artboards just below that I can work on. So we're going to start off with the cherries first. So if we just zoom in a little bit. So the first step that we want to do is just draw a circle. So if you just go over to your ellipse tool, which is just this icon here hold down shift and then just drag it out like so. Center it to your artboard and then you want to go over to window, go to astute graphics and then click on reform. It's going to open up this panel here and then to start activating it, what you need to do is just click on the panel and it's going to open up these options. Then to start using it, what you want to do is click on your object and just drag it out. And you can see it's brought up this red line here and this means this is going to be the new path as soon as you hit enter this is what your new path is going to look like what we want to do is just click on this little arrow and bring it up to the top here and then the same with this one like so so what you want to do then is just grab this node and then pull it out a little bit just so you get a nice bump there and you want this bump to be higher than this one then all you need to do is just hit enter and as you can see, it's made that shape. We'll just center it and make it a little bit smaller. So what we want to do next is we want to make a little line that goes from here going down to there. So if you just use direct selection, which is just this icon here, and then just select this path there. And then I want to go to this icon here at the top. If you're not going to open, you just go to window and just go on to control. But if you select it, what it's going to do is clip that away from the rest of the path, like so. And then you want to go to another tool by Astute Graphics, which is Extend Path Tool. So if you just hold it and just make sure you've got this one selected. And what this does, if you just select on this anchor point here, it means it's going to keep the curve going from that line down to here. So I'm going to bring it to about there and just let go. So it's made a nice continuous curve. So all I need to do then is just separate this away. So if you just hit plus on your keyboard and then add an anchor point here, and then just hit that snip tool again. And then what it's done is it's separated that away from the rest of the shape. And then from there, all you need to do is click on this icon, which is your width tool. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see what's gonna happen. All you have to do then is just narrow it down a little bit don't bring it straight to a point because I always find that looks a little bit too sharp. So if you just bring it to about here and just release. And as you can see, that's made pretty much the main outline for the cherries that I want. So if I just select this and then I'm just going to make it red so it looks more like a cherry. Like so. So if I just highlight these and then just make them a bit smaller. And then I'm going to make these shapes outlines a little bit thicker, like so. So then what you want to do is just hold down the Alt or Option key and then just drag it out so you've got a duplicate one and then just make it a little bit smaller. And then just do Command and the square bracket that's pointing to the left hand side just to bring it behind, like so. Then last but not least, I just want to add these stalks at the top. So I just want to use the pen tool. So P on my keyboard and just click here and here. And then just drag this little bit down there. And then I want to do another one from here coming down to the bottom there. Like so. So there we have some really simple cherries. And from using the reform tool, it was really simple. Whereas manually, if I did this, I would have to use the pen tool and click there, make a curve, make another curve here, 
and then try and fudge this curve. But using the reform tool just means all the curves that I'm using are just fitting together perfectly. So next up, we've got this egg over here. So what I want to do is draw another circle. Again, holding down shift just so it's a nice even circle that I'm drawing. And make it a little bit bigger. Like so. And then what I want to do is select the reform panel again. And then before I click out, I want to hold down the option or alt key and then just drag it out like so. And what this does, it gets rid of the start and end points. So it means you can have a nice continuous looped circle that you can start editing. So everything looks nice and smooth. So I'm going to start clicking around and adding in where I want my curves to be. So I want it to stick out a bit here. This bit needs to come in a bit. Drag this bit down, bring another one in here, and then another one out like so. And then as soon as you've got the shape that you're happy with, just hit enter on your keyboard. If you do get any little marks like this, all you've got to do is just use the direct selection tool you should just over here and then just round off this corner so it's nice and smooth. There, I center that now. Just make it a bit smaller. And then all I have to do is draw another circle wherever I want the yoke to be. I'm going to put it about here. Then all you have to do then is just give it a bit of color so it resembles more of an egg. So we're going to tackle this leaf now. So what I'm going to be doing is using the Mirami tool, which is another tool by Astute Graphics. So if you just go over to Window, go over to Astute Graphics and click on Mirami. I've already got mine set up, but when this panel opens, just click on this icon here. And let me just show you. And just select where you want the axis to be and go on Apply to Layer. So first thing what I want to do so just use my pen tool and make a line here and then another one here. Give it a bit of thickness just so we can see what we're working with. Go to the reform tool and then I can just drag out the leaf pattern that I want here. So you can see we're going to have a point that sticks out here, here and here and some points that bend back in here and here. So if we just try and replicate that by clicking at the points we want to bend out and points we want to bend in, like so. And then just keep going until you've got your desired shape. And then once you've got the shape that you want, just hit enter on your keyboard, like so. So from here, what I wanna do is if we just go to direct selection, just over here, Select this end point and you just want to round the corner off a bit like that. And then likewise for the bottom bit, just so when they join up, they go into each other nicely. Then all you have to do is just bring it to the axis point like so, and then bring it together. What I'm going to do is just widen it a bit more maybe start bringing some of these points in. So that's the great thing about the reform tool. Everything that you do is pretty much editable. So you're not stuck with the shape that you've just selected. If you do want to go back and edit things. And I want to bring this one in a bit more. So maybe I'll bring this up a bit. So we've got that there and I want to go on remove axis because I don't want everything to be mirrored now. Make this a little bit bigger. Um, to get the stem, all I need to do is just use my pen tool again and make a point here and another point here, like so. Just give this a fill. And then what I want to do is using my pen tool again, just make a point here. And then another 
point down at the bottom and then another one in between the in between these two like so then if you just go over to your width tool which is just this icon here and just bring the end of these points in a little bit just so you can create a little bit of depth for them okay and there we have it so this is how i've been using the reform tool to turn simple geometric shape into more complex smooth forms just let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to get back to you so there you have it that's how i've been using the reform tool to create some of my illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the Astute website to find out more about all the plugins. Peace.